Today, I'm looking at sharing the gospel. And I'll be using evangelism, winning souls, and sharing the gospel interchangeably. So I'll be using those words as I go along. What is evangelism? Evangelism is the act of sharing the good news of Jesus with others. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are all called to share the good news and the message of salvation to those around us. Sharing the gospel is not just about people accepting Jesus as their savior. It is also about sharing the love of God in Christ Jesus and the hope that Jesus offers to all people. Now, in order to share the gospel effectively, we need to have compassion and concern for others. We need to be willing to step out of our comfort zones and always rely on the direction of the Holy Spirit. How do we have compassion on others then? And concerns when it comes to sharing the gospel. Now, in Matthew chapter 9, Jesus was going through villages, preaching, healing the sick, casting out demons. It came to a point where we, it is recalled, but when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherds. In our day to day, we are going to meet people who are wearied, worried, concerned, like sheep having no shepherds. Rather than simply focusing on winning souls for the sake of numbers on the seats, we should have genuine concern for the well-being of the people we meet and the spiritual growth of the individuals we're sharing the gospel with. Now, this involves spending time to get to know them, listening to their concerns, and addressing any objection they might have. Now, this can also involve sharing your personal testimony. It is about inviting people to church, or Bible study, or having conversations about faith and spirituality. It is important to approach these conversations with sensitivity when it comes to sharing the gospel and respect. Now, the second thing we need to do in order to share the gospel effectively is to be willing to step out from our com comfort zone. Stepping out from our com comfort zone can be a daunting task. It requires you to put yourself in vulnerable situations and possibly face rejection or criticism, but don't let these things deter you. We need to be aware that it is in the daily conversations and the daily encounters we have with others that we are able to share the gospel effectively. And remember that in, in terms of stepping out of your comfort zone, you may be the one to initiate the conversation, but then the other person or the people you're meeting or the person you're encountering may be the person to initiate the conversation. And here's an example. Uh, in 2006, thereabout, uh, I was involved in the deployment of uh, soldiers to Iraq and Afghanistan. My job in the army, as a soldier in the army, uh, was uh, a job called movement controller in your language travel agent. So we have to sort of deal with all movement by rail, road, sea, and air. And part of that was to prepare units. So you will have a new cross gate is one unit. Lewisham is another. Woolwich is one unit. So by the time it's coming from Iraq into the UK, Woolwich is preparing to move out. And so these journeys, you know, we book people on flight, book flight for large amount of soldiers. One of the soldiers going through was an army chaplain. 
And as I was checking them in onto the plane in R.A. Bryce, Bryce Norton, I asked this guy, how did you become a chaplain? And he took time, took me aside, and talked me through what it takes for one to become a chaplain. I won't bore you with that story. But here is the thing, when it comes to sharing the gospel and stepping out of comfort zone, you need to know that people will initiate a conversation and you can also initiate a conversation. But when people initiate a conversation, this will require you to have a deep understanding of the gospel message so that you can explain clearly and persuasively. The gospel message is that Jesus died for all of us and he rose from the dead. This is the heart of the gospel and it is essential for salvation. It is important to remember that the power of the gospel lies in the hand of the Holy Spirit and not in our abilities. The third and final thing we need to know when it comes to sharing the gospel effectively is to ask the Holy Spirit for help and direction. Asking the Holy Spirit for direction is essential if we are to be successful and effective witnesses. It is through the guidance and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we can share the gospel in a way that can resonate with those who are trying to reach out. When you rely on the direction of the Holy Spirit, He will provide you with the words and the opportunities. He will create the opportunities for you to share the gospel. And when you ask the Holy Spirit for direction, He will replace your fear and anxiety when it comes to sharing the gospel and give you peace. The Holy Spirit, when it comes to sharing the gospel, is the greatest evangelist. Pray for him to help you share the gospel more effectively. So, in conclusion, I encourage all of us to follow the footsteps of Jesus and the disciples to commit our lives to share the gospel in our communities and beyond. In our gospel today, not only did Andrew tell his brother about Jesus, but he was keen to introduce other people to Jesus. I encourage you to help people that you encounter by sharing with them your own relationship with Jesus and like the disciples you are going to face challenges and obstacles but if you are willing to take the risk and trust in Jesus he will guide you and empower you to fulfill his purpose we must be passionate about sharing the message of Jesus and have a, have a deep understanding of the gospel that we are proclaiming. So in order to share the gospel then, what do we need? Well, we need to have compassion and concern for others. Be willing to step out of your comfort zones and always rely and pray for the direction of the Holy Spirit. The greatest thing that moves God is so winning. Jesus came to save those who are lost. Let this be your mission as a Christian. Amen. Amen.